Where did I put my opening joke? All right, guys, I think our project might be failing a little bit. Um, see, the whole spirit behind this channel, I thought, was to kind of get to know each other better. Um, and I just don't see that happening over the last couple of weeks. I mean, ironically, I actually talk to Charlie less now than I did before the project started. Um, and Alex doesn't have Skype, so I've never really chatted with him before, uh, only through the exchange of a couple of emails. And he hates social networking sites, so I don't have you on Facebook or my MySpace. Uh, Johnny, same thing there. Um, I don't really talk to you at all, uh, other than, you know, through the couple of emails that we've shared and PMs. So really the only person I'm getting to know through this project is Todd, and Todd and I were already friends before this project, so... I think the videos themselves have become more about who can insert random things, chapter four, and be the funniest than they are about the actual, like, discussion and getting to know each other thing. And I think it's great that we include some of those jokes in that to get the, you know, viewers interested and laughing and paying attention, but I also think that we should use this channel a little bit more for discussion. I mean, we hit 10,000 subscribers last week, so we can stop with the sub whoring and the comment spamming to get on the charts and that. We have the audience. I think now we just need to do something with them. Debates are great, and you know, posing questions is wonderful, but when the questions are about ostriches and midgets, no question, the ostrich would definitely win. I just don't see that as being a productive use of this channel. So I guess the first topic I'd like to discuss would be internet friends. Have you guys made friends online that you consider yourself closer to than the people you know in real life? Can we come up with a better term than real life? Because the things that I'm doing right now, even though you're just watching it through a bunch of pixels, is still very real. You hear a lot of people say it's just the internet, um, but I do think that the bonds that we create here can be very real. I know Charlie's last two girlfriends he also met online, um, which makes that very real. And do you feel, Charlie, that it's because of like the location you're around, you just don't have people that you share um, you know, similar interests with? Or I also met my current girlfriend here on YouTube, so I can understand that. My town I live in is very, very small. There's not too many people around that have the same interests as me. And this site right here is unique over all the other sites out there because not only do we get to communicate via text like we do on all the other sites, but you also get to see and hear me. You can see in my eyes whether or not I mean these kinds of things or whether you know I'm just blowing off steam in a video or something. And I think that's very important that you and I have never met, but we know what each other looks like and sounds like and our general attitudes. We would be able to tell if we could like hang out in a room together and get along. I'd have to go with the astronauts because they have the technology and intelligence and technology and intelligence always wins over brute force. So I guess I'm putting a general challenge out there, you guys. I'd like to communicate more and get to know you better and not just your thoughts on whether orange juice is better than milk, but thoughts on things that matter. I know discussing things like politics and that would be difficult because we're dealing with two different governments. So I'm not talking about things like that, but we're all young adults and a lot of big life choices are gonna be coming up soon for some of us. Some of us are going to be graduating from university or high school. Some of us are going to be moving out. Some of us are starting real relationships. It's you know kind of a confusing time where we're gonna need friends and people to bounce feedback off of. So I'm just hoping we can fulfill the original spirit of this channel, that's all. Charlie, I'll see you tomorrow.